I mean, I don't know what to say, guys. We got bodybuilders passing away, vegans dropping dead. And I don't actually recall a vegan ever, you know, physically dying from following a vegan diet. Yeah, there have been cases of parents abusing babies and young children that are more vulnerable that have died from following vegan diets, but actual adults dying from a vegan diet, I, I honestly, maybe, maybe it's happened a few times, but not recently, and it has been posted all over social media. But uh, last week, vegan raw food diet influencer Zana Diart dies of suspected starvation. Uh, she was 39. I mean, to be fair, you know, for a malnourished vegan, I thought she was younger. She was subsisting exclusively on a diet of exotic fruit in Malaysia, according to her friends and family. Two crazy components to this. One, how does someone get surrounded with people and ideas and so brainwashed that they commit to this until they literally drop dead? Two, is the vegans like justifying this saying, oh, she didn't do the vegan diet, right? It, and they're in this little bubble saying what she did wrong. It's absolutely disgusting hive minded behavior you know the the raw tards aren't dropping dead you know yeah they have some mental issues but uh, playing with each other but you know when they're on the raw animal diets they're not actually you know having any severe health problems outside of liver damage after following it for a few years the russian national who frequently promoted raw foods on social media reportedly died July 21st after finally seeking medical treatment during a tour in Southeast Asia. A few months ago in Sri Lanka, she already... Guys, uh, sorry about my pronunciation. I got my retainers in. It was, uh, it's late at night. I was about to go to sleep. She already looked exhausted with swollen legs oozing lymph. One unidentified friend told Newsflash, they sent her home to seek treatment. However, she ran away again. When I saw her in Fuck It, I was horrified. Is, that's a funny name for... Uh, a town, isn't it? I'm probably saying it wrong. Is it Puckett? How do you say it? Her friend added, I lived one floor above her and every day I feared finding her lifeless body. In the morning, I convinced her to seek treatment but didn't make it. Samsonova's mother also attributed her daughter's passing to a cholera-like infection. However, her official cause of death has not been declared. I mean, that's really likely. You know, you deprive the body of nutrition and then some type of parasite or bacteria infection is what's going to get you because your body just doesn't have what it needs to fight anything off a proponent of uncooked herbivorous fare the Kassan native claimed she ate a completely raw vegan diet for the last four years consuming just fruits sunflower seed sprouts fruit smoothies and juices so like these other raw vegans are just cheating you know they, they're cheating they listen to their bodies and they they go off of it Meanwhile, a friend claimed that for the last seven years, Samsonova had only eaten the giant sweet jackfruit and durian, a spicy mace-like fruit known for its custardy meat and noxious odor. I see my mind and body transform every day, Samsonova had gushed while describing her restrictive eating regimen. I love my new me and her move on to habits that I used to use. The food influencers at her raw foods, they should hire me to write this. My English isn't that great, but whoever wrote this was half asleep. Her raw foods regimen was reportedly inspired by seeing peers who looked a lot older than their ages, which she attributed to their junk food diets. She used her social media to spread her raw diet auction, describing, I eat simple food, although I have a lot of experience as a raw food chef. I love creating my own recipes. I mean, she's basically a really, really, I, I couldn't find her TikTok and I, maybe her Instagram got taken down too, but it's crazy. I wonder how many followers she actually had. I never really followed her at any point and, and saw her viewer base and subscribers and stuff. Reminds me of, uh, what's that guy, Freely? Or uh, the girl, Freely, the banana girl. Despite the potential downsides to Samsonova's diet, many of her devoted followers refused to believe her eating choices led to her death, instead claiming she was killed by chemicals in the fruit she ate. There's no way. There's no way. Where is, what's the source on this? Yeah, bro. Chemicals in the fruit. Yeah, bro. Samsonova's family is awaiting a medical report and death certificate. Oh, 
Samson Oval wouldn't be the first to starve to death from a rough. Yeah, who? who? Last year, vegan Florida mother Shyla O'Leary was sentenced to life in prison. Yeah, I mean, technically, the 18 month old didn't starve to death from a raw food diet because the 18 year uh, 18 month old had no will of their own it was forced by the mother so this is a lot different uh, this comment section is probably a cesspool now what's funny is the new york post did a second article on this there's two articles uh, so this basically says that the mother fought very hard to to try to get her back you know eating normal foods and that type of stuff I fought for many years, but she did not listen to her mother. Vera Samsonova lamented in an interview. She chose this path. Yeah, poor uh, girl was completely brainwashed. Zana hadn't drunk water in six years and often practiced dry fasting in which she'd abstain from eating or drinking for days. In the final months leading up to her death, Zana's friends pleaded with her to eat more substantive foods, but she refused to change her lifestyle. So here, here's the big question. Were her friends vegan? probably so how much how much push do they have you know she's raw vegan they're vegan it's you know it's not like they're normal people i brought her fruits every morning it was impossible to get her to eat something else zana believed that death does not exist Ooh. so it, it's weird because you know following this type of restrictive diet depriving your body of b vitamins proteins omega-3s probably causes severe severe mental health issues to the point where you can't actually think straight or neurologically function and make sound decisions that honestly that could be a really big factor on why when some people go vegan they they can't quit or they don't want to go back because they're actually causing brain damage to themselves and then they can't think straight look you follow a diet of raw fruits you're going to starve to death you follow a diet of raw vegetables, you're going to starve to death. If you eat only grains, I don't, I don't know, you'll probably just get nutritional deficiencies, but they have enough calories to keep you alive. And then the only food you can really eat on its own and not have significant immediate health issues is meat. So there's a few shorts we could take a look at. Popular vegan influencer Yana Samsonova, who ate only exotic fruits. You know, she looks like a crypt keeper there has died of starvation at age 39. The Russian national attracted millions of views after sharing her controversial diet online. Samsonova claimed she ate a completely raw vegan diet for the last four years, consuming just fruits, sunflower seed sprouts, fruit smoothies, and juices. The 39-year-old shared a chilling message on Instagram just days before she allegedly died of starvation. She shared this caption over a photo of herself. Life is meaningless, but worth living, provided you recognize it's meaningless. Is that what she looked like when she was like starting the vegan diet when she was somewhat healthy? Because she really doesn't look good now. Holy crap. I have nightmares about this one. The internet is saying that she passed away from eating a raw vegan Jesus. diet. Scary. But I'm telling you right now, this beautiful soul was not on a raw vegan diet. If that's not enough to scare you from going vegan i don't know what is you're looking at death in the face in diet she was on a starvation diet these are photos of her when she was eating a raw vegan diet and at the end of her life she was not she was not eating our mental health is crucial please if you know someone that has an eating disorder please help them oh so they're saying she had an eating disorder and she didn't do it right. It's, it's the circle jerk in the vegan community is they they deserve whatever backlash they're getting. E even insinuating that a vegan diet is okay for health is what gets people into extreme circumstances like this. It, look, if you want to go vegan, if you want to save the planet, save the animals, and believe the fake propaganda, you should go in your backyard, dig a hole, and stand in it, and plant yourself like a tree, all right? Have your buddies come over and water you once in a while.
This vegan influencer who only eats raw fruits, sunflower seeds, smoothies, and exotic juice has died allegedly from starvation causing an absolute rift among people who believe that plant-based diets are not good for you. 39-year-old Jana Samsonova, aka Jana Dach, was known to have health issues, feeling exhausted, and every time she was sent to treatment, she ran away. While her mother claims she died from a cholera-like infection, it's later revealed that they officially Hey, you don't, you know, you don't hear people running out of a psych ward. Maybe that's why they needed to send her. The cause of death is not known. Some took the time to cheer this tragedy on because this food creator was a Russian citizen. What do you think? I mean, what do I think? I think they're all nuts. All right, let me give you guys something useful for uh, sticking through this nonsense. So the answer to just about anything is money. You know, the small percent of people, you can call them the elite that control everything simply want as much power as much money as much resources for themselves so when we see anything a dietary trend like juicing celery a raw fruit vegan diet a keto diet someone selling collagen protein all these different products are huge multi-million dollar industries they push this stuff mainstream people try them for a little bit they switch to a new product, whatever, it doesn't work. It's just a revolving money pit of different trends and different nonsense. This raw vegan stuff, hey, you know, on, on a lesser scale, it was really just meant to sell fruits and vegetables and get people to eat certain produce things that were probably going bad in the store and these big companies were losing money. That's the answer to all of it. And then you just have some extreme variations of it where, you know, these people in the media and the news and health authorities just disregard people's health for profit and, and don't really make, a f I mean, getting into all that is a bunch of nonsense, but uh, that also ties in with the current vegan influencers and really anyone with any sort of reasonable following has financial interest, even if it's as minimal as just paying for their own personal lifestyle and their family. You know, these, these disgusting slob vegans you know, will sell out and lie and, and poison themselves and their family just to sit at home and have a paycheck. So go figure. If you guys want to support the only genuine and authentic person online, before I completely lose it, you can go to frank com. Some of you might have seen the short I posted yesterday. Uh, we launched Lemon Light Organic Electrolyte Drink Mix. Uh, so you can go to organsupplements.com and take a look at this and try it out if you guys would like. You can read more about it on here. Uh, we will also have the flex dose and the whey protein available on the site tomorrow if you guys uh, want to wait uh, a few hours to order. But uh, that's really going to be it. So if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And before I say goodbye to you guys, I'll touch on one last thing, which is uh, you know, the, the reaction that a lot of people have had to this, and I, I don't really like doing videos on this stuff. I honestly didn't want to talk about it, but uh, it's kind of too much in my wheelhouse to not touch on it. You know, taking advantage of it, talking trash about the vegan diets, uh, promoting carnivore, promoting meat. Uh, it's just kind of trashy and, and you shouldn't be doing it. You know, the girl, girl had a family and friends and stuff, and uh, it's always sad to see this type of stuff happen. But, uh. I'll see you guys soon for another video.